you did it. You killed these people. You killed these loved ones. Turn yourself in. An emotional plea from a grieving mother, Micaiah Hawkins, was shot and killed nearly a year ago. Now, her family still doesn't know who's responsible for this. The Hawkins case is one of several unsolved homicides in Greenville County. Tonight, 7 News reporter Erin Rogers has been digging into this story all day, and she's joining us live from the Law Enforcement Center right now with a little more on the plea from deputies and families to get some information. Erin. Well, Amy, the sheriff's office says even one homicide is too many, and they say people need to start talking so justice can be served. We loved her. You know, her life, it, it mattered to us. But nearly a year later, Magaya Hawkins' family is still living through the pain of searching for answers. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be grieving for, you know, the rest of my life, but um, to not have that closure is the anger really gets um, a hold of me. Family photos now include a portrait instead of a person. After Hawkins became an innocent victim after a shooting last May at the pavilion in Taylor's. She was my baby. She was in my heart and it, it hurts. Since last January, there have been just shy of 30 homicides in the county. Hawkins is one of seven of those cases that's still unsolved. But the sheriff's office says they're all solvable. Sergeant Ryan Flood with the sheriff's office says it comes down to the community stepping up. It's essential that people come forward with that information so we can put them behind bars. What's to keep them from, from killing someone else? Accountability activist Tracy Fant says isn't just reserved for one group. We take the charge to want the officers to be charged. However, when a life is taken in our community by one of our own, um, we kind of stand back and don't say anything. And says that needs to change. If you know something, say something. You know, speak for the victim, speak up for them because they no longer have a voice. For Hawkins' mother, she wants one message to be heard loud and clear. You are not a snitch, you are a witness. This is, you are a witness to Makaya's death, to all these other deaths. It's not snitching. Now, the sheriff's office says people can call Crime Stoppers anonymously, and they say there are ways to protect people if they do come forward. Live in Greenville, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. Erin, thank you. Also